people getting their vaccines and cases trending in the right direction. COVID-19 restrictions are getting more relaxed and that allowed some churches to open their doors to more people this Easter Sunday. WBTV's Brandon Hamilton joining us live tonight. So Brandon, you spent a lot of your day at churches this year's services. They looked a lot different than last year's. Chandler, what a difference 12 months make. Last year, we were at the beginning of the pandemic when Easter came around. So today looked a lot different than last year, but the message of hope and joy still remain the same. It's a symbol of a sacrifice that only this Easter can represent. The celebration of Easter is about the hope of the eternal horizon that shines upon us and in many ways got us through the darkness of this past year, a very, very long Lent, if you will. As hundreds from St. Matthew Catholic Church socially distanced inside the Charlotte Catholic High School football stadium. It was a reminder of how far we've come in this pandemic. Last year, some services were canceled. Others were held virtually. This Resurrection Sunday, a new meaning. Easter Sunday aligns beautifully with this moment in which we find ourselves. We are all excited as the vaccine emerges, as creating a hopeful path forward, and the message of Easter is full of hope. 20 miles north in Charlotte's Belmont neighborhood, empty pews in St. Paul Baptist Church. They kept their services virtual. How to live as far as Christ would have for us to live in this new reality and allow for this moment uh, for us to experience a sense of resurrection and newness. Believers are staying hopeful of change and healing during an ongoing pandemic. One of the things that this pandemic has empowered us to do is to go beyond with greater intentionality the four walls of the church. Now those COVID-19 protocols were in place at the stadium. That includes mask wearing, social distancing, and that 50% capacity. Now here at St. Paul, Pastor Scott also told me that he is going to be judicial when it comes to the decision of letting his members back inside of the church. Reporting live in Charlotte, Brandon Hamilton, WBTV on your side. Definitely having to make those tough decisions. Thanks, Brandon. A local nonprofit made sure